Dr. Lake, as they call him, he went on to say here, it would take too long to tell of the thousands that have gone to spiritualism. I mean, people honestly deceived. Just one instance, I had a little friend, Jude, and his dear old wife. They were old-fashioned Methodist people. They had one dear daughter who died at 16. I was absent most of the time in the city, but our home in the country joined theirs. Some friends said to me one night, you know our old friend Jude, whose daughter died? Some months passed, a spiritualistic medium came to South Bend, and they began attending. They have gone wild over the thing. We did not know how to help them and wondered if you could not help them. I went over and had a talk with them and went with them. At the proper time, this gentleman was supposed to be giving them a message from their daughter. After they got through, I said, I would like to talk to her, meaning the dead person. And I began to talk to this spirit. I said, are you Miss Jude? Where were you born? Where did you go to school? The Willow Street School. Where did you attend church? The Willow Creek Methodist Church. Check this out. The answers were perfectly correct. Now, watch this. I'm telling you, this is one of the wisest things you could ever do when you're talking to somebody like this. Finally, I said, I remember a night at the Willow Creek Methodist Church when a very wonderful thing happened to you. Do you remember what it was? She did not know a thing about it. I said, your memory don't seem to be good. Don't you remember when a revival meeting was being conducted and you sat with Mrs. Lake and myself? When the altar service came, I invited you to go and to give your heart to the Lord. And you did. And the glory of God came into your soul. She did not remember anything about that. Hmm. I said, that is strange. Don't you remember on a certain occasion you used to come to our home and we used to kneel and the glory and presence of God came on your soul? She did not remember anything about that. I said, you are not the spirit of Miss Jude. You are an old liar. In the name of Jesus Christ, you get out of here. And it got out. Beloved, do not be fooled by every voice you here. Demons are very, very knowledgeable. They've been around for thousands of years. They know people, intricate details about people. Dr. Lake operated in the wisdom and knowledge of God. I'm telling you, when he went to this person, it's like, you're Miss Jude? Yes. Well, give me some details to prove that you're Miss Jude. Yada, 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 yada. And everything was perfectly correct. If it stopped there, most people would be deceived. But well, it's got to be Miss Jude. Who else would know those details? I tell you who else would know those details. Evil spirits. So Dr. Lake knew, knew that evil spirits don't like to talk about the glory of God or when someone really gives their heart or repents of their sin. And he knew the real Miss Jude, enough to test this spirit. Are you really Miss Jude? Or are you a spirit that masquerades as Miss Jude? As Dr. Lake here says, Beloved, do not be fooled by every voice you hear. 